to today has been a, uh, a great relief. Um, when we talk about these last number of days, I can actually translate to the last three years. And it has been very worrisome, uh, very tiresome, uh, very stressful. I'm just grateful that this, this day has come and that uh, I always knew the law would make the decision and the right decision, and, and I believe we're there. So that's how I feel today. That's Ontario Liberals Jerry Lougheed and Pat Sorbera speaking outside a Sudbury courthouse today after a judge suddenly dismissed the bribery charges laid against them under the Elections Act. And there was plenty of reaction here at Queen's Park as well. It goes back again to um, the complete vindication. As we've been saying all along, um, myself and uh, Pat and Jerry, we, we did nothing wrong. I think today's um, decision in court uh, just shows that the process works. Glenn Tebow was not charged, but the case revolved around a 2015 Sudbury by-election, which he went on to win. Today, on day 12 of the trial, the judge suddenly ruling there wasn't enough evidence to continue. Defense for Sobrera and Lougheed had been arguing for the last year that they should have never been charged with bribery. The former Liberal CEO and Sudbury businessman were accused of offering would-be candidate Andrew Olivier a job or appointment to step aside for Wynn's preferred candidate, Tebow, who later became the energy minister. I think this speaks to a broader, a broader pattern of uh, liberal political corruption. You know, it's it's not just uh, what happened in Sudbury. Um, you know, this is about uh, e-health. This is about orange. This is about gas plants. There has been um, scandal after scandal. I think what I'm continue to be most worried about is is what this government's been able to hide and what scandal lies next for the taxpayer. Well, we've got five OPP investigations. We have uh, uh, two ongoing trials, uh, three actually, including the Trillium Wind tr uh, trial. This is a, a broader pattern of political corruption uh, that we have seen. The Liberals released this statement saying, quote, we have always been confident that once the facts surrounding the situation were known, a court would conclude that there was no wrongdoing. We regret that the vindictive opposition demands for prosecution put these two innocent people through an ordeal of almost three years in order to defend themselves and their reputations. There is no doubt in my mind the political component was a great motivator. I do have some concerns about the investigation and the proceedings because I might suggest the taxpayers of this province have spent an awful lot of money on this case, the investigations, and my question would be why and who in fact was the motivator to this because the judge just said there was no evidence. Now, Lougheed's lawyer says they may try to recover the cost from the trial because, according to them, it should have never happened.